There is no doubt that Donald Trump just gave one of the best crypto speeches ever. Whether you love or hate the Republican Party, what he said is going to be so amazing for the crypto industry that it will likely lead to one of the fastest and biggest bull runs in history. A lot of laws that support crypto are being passed and the fight against crypto is ending. All of this is happening at the same time that trillions of dollars are becoming available. This is completely crazy. And I had to show it to you guys in today's video because it will blow your mind and change cryptocurrency forever. I think this is one of the most important crypto points we've ever seen. What I'm about to show you will prove that. That's right, Donald is talking about crypto, so please click the like button and pay close attention. I'm Indian. What makes you Indian? You don't seem like an Indian. No, no, ma, my mum told me I have high cheeks. That's why she was Native American. So I gave her the name Pocahontas. Hillary Clinton and her thugs, and she's mean to you. She doesn't like your people. She doesn't like anything about you. They can't touch Bitcoin. They're not going to touch crypto. They are going to let it grow. We'll let it grow. On the first day. I'm going to fire Gary Gensler and choose a new head of the sexy. Poor guy, I had no idea he was that disliked. I had no idea he was that disliked. Say it again. I'm going to fire Gary Gensler on the first day. Someone who thinks that America should build the future, not stop it, like they're doing, will be my choice for Sekhead. And Kamala Harris wants him to be Secretary of the Treasury. That's not good. That's not good. He was in charge of Hillary Clinton's money. Did you understand? Hillary is dishonest. Do you remember Crooked Hillary? Do you remember her? Does anyone remember? He was in charge of raising money for Hillary Clinton's campaign against a guy named Donald Trump. Not a well-liked guy in the cliché did come to my wedding, though. Do you know that? To Melania, a wonderful first lady. She came to our wedding. Bill also came to our wedding. There are great things that happen in your life when you run for office, though. Things change a lot. As president, I will end Operation Chokepoint 2.0 right away. They want to choke you. They want to shut down your business. That's not going to happen. Your government will no longer stand by and let Bitcoin jobs and companies go to other countries because US. Rules are not clear enough, are too strict, are too angry, or are too stiff. We are going to keep all Bitcoin jobs in the United States. That is what we are going to do. As soon as I take office, I will set up a Bitcoin and crypto presidential advising group. Would anyone be interested in being on that council? Please, those of you. Their job is to come up with clear regulatory advice that will help the whole business, and they have 100 days to do it. There will be rules, but they will be rules. But they will be set by people who love your business instead of people who hate it. There are people who want to keep things clear, easy, honest and fair. People who want your business to do well and not go away. Next, I'm going to tell the Treasury Department and other government agencies to stop doing whatever they're doing right away because, you know, something is going on in your business. They'd like to speed up the process of making a central bank digital currency. It's over. Don't bother. COBC. As long as I'm president, there will never be a CBDC. And I will always stand up for the right to stay home alone. Self-custodial your business will do very well. We're not going to destroy your business, we're going to help it grow. There will be property rights, privacy, freedom of trade, freedom of union and freedom of union and freedom of speech again in the United States. We're going to change our. There was a time when our country was building itself up, not one that was destroying itself from the inside. In order to make regulations clearer, we will set up a system that will allow the safe and responsible growth of stable coins. What does a stable coin mean? Does anyone know? Put up your hand. Giving us the chance to make the US dollar the most important currency in new areas around the world, we will have more money, the world will be a better place, and billions of people will use the crypto economy and store their savings in Bitcoin. That's the way it is. That's pretty much how things stand. People who say Bitcoin is a threat to the dollar have the very wrong idea. This is what I think it is back the dollar is not in danger from Bitcoin. The way the US government is acting right now is really dangerous for the dollar. Cryptocurrency is not what threatens our financial future. DC is where it comes from. A lot of people are coming into the country illegally and getting handouts and free medical care. This is because of wasteful spending of trillions of dollars, high inflation and open borders. 
That's because our towns are like war zones at home, while our government prints hundreds of billions of dollars to pay for endless wars abroad. In Chicago two weeks ago, 117 people were shot and 17 died. That's not in Afghanistan. You think about places that are hard. Take a look at what's going on in our towns. What's going on in? No one has seen anything like it in the last three years, or three and a half years. Take a look. 117 people were shot and 17 died over the 4th of July weekend. Is this the United States of America? I don't believe that. Also, we didn't have any wars when I was on the job. There were no new fights. It wasn't our fault. Remember how Hillary said he would start wars? Take a look at his personality. I told them no, because of who I am, we won't get into any wars. Some old ones, like ISIS, were taken care of though. They said it would take five years or more. It took us four weeks. We beat ISIS in four games. The reason is that our defense is great. Also, it's not a woke force. There may be some woke people on top, but this is not a woke. That was the first thing I saw. To begin, I found it hard to believe what they did and how much they helped me. No one thought they could do what they did. There's no woke among our real generals and troops. The people are being told to wake up, but these people are not going to. That I can promise you. With your help this November, we will bring back skill and common sense to the nation's centre. Because in the end, it's not about whether you're a conservative or not. What do you think? Do you believe in progress? They like modern. Doesn't it sound great? Our country will be destroyed. It's really turned into a bad word. Our country will be destroyed. That's not what it's about. It's just plain smart. Sense needs to be brought back. We're only talking about things that make sense today. And Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies will go through the roof, even beyond your wildest dreams. You are the ones doing it. As soon as we end the war on crypto, we will start building our economy right away. This is because Bitcoin goes up when America does well, and it will go up with it. The economy was the best it's ever been. It will be here again soon. Every middle class family's income went up by $6,000 a year while Trump was in office. People don't like to talk about how America has more savings than at any other time in many decades. Because of this, during my four years in office, please pay attention to these facts. You should see how pretty these numbers are. I don't want to say it again. Take a listen to these. Because of this, Bitcoin went from $898 the day I took office to $35,900 the day I left, a 3,900% increase. I think that was the biggest jump in almost every business. Think about that. When you take inflation into account, that's a big difference from what Biden and Harris did just